five years coming up in April will be how long I've been off of this channel, which is absolutely crazy to think. It's been five years since I've been on here. My last video was me actually moving into a new house and showing you all that house. And the funny thing is, is I actually don't even live in that house anymore. I actually moved to another house. And then after that house, I moved to another house, which is the current house I'm in now. And in those five years, I ended up not playing that many games. So that didn't make much content to put on the channel. So yeah, life kind of happened. I stopped playing games. I stopped having the want to actually make videos for this channel. Of course, until now. I mean, you seeing this video in your subscription feed was probably like, what the hell? Who is this? When did I subscribe to this person? And hopefully there's that small handful of people that still remember me. So yeah, here recently I kind of got back into gaming and I had a niche to want to make a video, which it's kind of wild, I know, considering the time span that I've been off of this channel. And one of the big reasons I actually came back is Battlefront Classic Collection being released. <laughs> and uh, if you actually have been uh, following Battlefront and its release and uh, have played the game and all that, you know that it's been a complete shit show. I mean, multiplayer was absolutely unplayable day one that it was released. Everything else is pretty good though, in my opinion. I mean, Conquest was fine, Instant Action was fine, which those two main things is what I was looking forward to in the game release. I really can't even complain, but I do understand where the other people that wanted to play multiplayer are coming from. I mean, at the end of the day, it did release broken and very unplayable. So that is an issue. I mean, it seems that games nowadays, that's how the, everything works is it's going to be released crappy and then they gotta release a bunch of patch notes and updates to make it playable which is sad i think we can all come together though and agree that battlefront one's loading screen needs to be fixed like what is up with that sound Yeah, not right. So yeah, definitely expect some Battlefront videos on here. Definitely gonna be playing that. Let me also point out the elephant in the room, BF2042 in the background. I will definitely be doing videos on this game as well. This game also had a rocky release. Thankfully, I was out of the gaming scene when it came out, so I didn't have to experience that crap. But yeah, 2042 is really fun. I've been playing a lot of this game. I've been playing this game for about a week and a half now, and I'm already level 40, so that should tell you a lot. There's also this YouTuber by the name of Grandpa Gaming that does a lot of BF2042 sniping videos and that kind of got me back into it seeing his little shorts of him sniping and stuff but i've also always really liked battlefield it's just a really good game battlefield 3 and battlefield 4 that is where it was at but yeah guys this is uh i guess kind of my comeback video doing videos has always kind of been my hobby and i'll be honest in the past five years that i've been off youtube every time i get on youtube and watch other youtubers do content so like that always think of the time that I used to do it and how fun it was creating videos and stuff for y'all to watch. And of course, I don't get that much views, but it's just, it's like a hobby. I don't know, I can't explain it. I don't really care for the views. Those few people that do watch and enjoy it, that's all I need. So it is nice uh, coming back, being able to show y'all my gameplay experiences, showing y'all the games I'm playing right now and cool clips that I get in a game. That's really cool. I will say though, I still am playing on the PS4. I do plan on getting a PS5 here soon. That's also another reason I think I got out of gaming is I forgot to pre-order a PS5. And if you didn't pre-order a PS5, you were not getting one unless you were uh, prepared to pay about $1,200 from a scalper for one. And that was absolutely ridiculous. It wasn't until about a year ago, really, that you can start to buy them for their retail price without getting them secondhand, which is crazy if you sit here and think about it. So yeah, I gotta get a PS5 because eventually the PS4 will be obsolete. But until then, the PS4 will have to do. So here we are five years later, I'm ready to make some more videos and I hope y'all are ready for some more content. That's it, that's all I wanted to share with y'all today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think of me coming back after five years, uh, subscribe, that would be awesome. And I'll see you in the next video, peace.